Oh god, I don't want to know how real this is going to feel. Hey. Here we go, here we go. Lord. Oh, oh man, that gets you right there. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Don and today we are doing something really cool. That's right. So today we are going to be riding some roller coasters in epic roller coasters using the Oculus Quest 2. But not just that, we're going to pair it up with the Yaw VR personal motion simulator and actually ride a roller coaster with no wires. It's amazing. So I can't wait to do this. I can't wait to take you guys with me while I do. So let's go. All right, so I think we'll only really need one controller for this. Um, so what we're going to want to do is we've already calibrated the yaw, so I'm just going to go ahead and get in position here. Now, interestingly enough, um, you know, I've been riding roller coasters in VR forever. It, it just seems like, you know, one of the very first things I did in the DK1 uh, back in like 2013 was ride the Rift Coaster. And, uh, you know, they've just, they've, they've always been cool, but they've never felt right because you always wanted that motion. And I, I used to even like when I demo the older headsets, like the DK one or the DK two to people, I would actually like, you know, try to manipulate their chair by grabbing the chair and rumbling it and, you know, pushing it forward and pulling it back when they were going up a hill. So being able to ride a roller coaster in this thing it's amazing because it gives you all of those sensations so anyway blah 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 i know you guys are like whatever dude so amazingly enough y'all vr right here just boom one touch connect uh, that that is a beautiful thing i would love to see more developers putting that into their apps it just just add the y'all sdk guys because it makes it so much easier all right, so let's see here. Let's get out. Okay, so I guess let's just start right here. Um, f uh, Rock Falls. And uh, do I want to... We'll, we'll do the first one as just a classic ride, and then I'll go back and do one of the other, uh, the other tracks as a shooter. So let's go classic, and I'm just going to go... For the sake of the video, I'm just going to go defaults on everything. So, you know, guys, I, I got to say it's really good to be back in a, a quest uh, doing doing mobile uh, again. Yeah, I, I got to thank Eric Hartley. Yeah, he he was turned me on to this new Oculus developer hub and uh, it has made everything so much easier. OK, here we go. Man, I, just just having the rumble on the seat feels good. <laughs> uh, okay, this looks ominous. Now, one sensation I can tell you I'm already missing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, God, that always gets me when it tilts you way back like that. Uh, what, one sensation I know that I'm already missing from riding roller coasters on the PC VR side with like my Pimax headset and No Limits 2 is that I can actually do motion cancellation and I can get the yaw so I can actually have it turn with the tracks which which totally oh my god uh, makes it feel uh, you know uh, makes it feel more real uh, but uh, man I, I gotta tell you this is blowing my mind that this is just happened from the quest Two, or, and it would actually work with the Quest as well. Uh, no wires, just straight from the headset to the yaw. Everything is tracking perfectly. Oh, I need to like rest my head. Yeah. Whoa, God, this is like the pitch is like really intense. I, I did turn it up just a little bit because um, I really wanted to see how much this would work. But wow, oh. I can't tell you how real that feels. Oh God, I don't want to know how real this is going to feel. Hey. 
Uh, here we go. Here we go. Lord. Oh, oh man, that gets you right there. So you actually feel some G-forces. Whoa, whoa. Oh, that was cool how all the rumble just stopped. Whoa. And see, that's something that was missing in No Limits 2 on the PC side, too. I can actually feel the clickety-clack going up this, and, and it's like making it feel even more real. Uh, hey, buddy. W what you doing over there? Uh, hey, man. No, no, no. No, no. We don't want to do that. Um, yeah, that's not cool, man. Oh, Lord. Get ready to get pitched back. Oh, I think I'm sitting on the controller and it's taking pictures. That's what that is. Whoa. Oh, my God. Oh, this is like freaking me out. It's so high up, and, and the, the feeling of being pitched back like this is literally giving you that sensation of height. Why do I keep taking pictures? Whoa! Nice. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Whoa, loop! <laughs> that feels so good. Oh my god, that is so cool. I know, you guys are probably just like, shut up, man. But I'm telling you, you, you just... After all these years of chasing that dragon, of, of wanting VR to feel more real, this has actually done it. I mean, this, this is like... Oh, you, you feel those G's. You know, another thing that this does is you can, like, pair a wind simulator with it. And, uh, and it'll, like, actually change the wind with a fan. Um, so, wait, how do I go back? There we go. All right, so let's see here. Oh, realistic. Okay, fantasy. So I think there's, like, different, yeah, different types of tracks. Now, obviously, a lot of this is pay-to-play. Um, so you can see, like, you know, you get, like, a couple tracks for free. And then if you want all these, you got to pay for it. Um, so it looks like we do get a couple in here. So, ooh, secret cave. Let's do the secret cave. And we'll do the shooter this time. And... Yep, and see, there you go. You got some more freemium stuff here. Let me go with that see guy. If I know anybody on the leaderboard, I do not. Um, nah, we're just gonna play. I ain't trying to break no records. It'd be interesting to see if, like, having the motion affects my gameplay in this though because like if you were normally playing this you wouldn't be tilted back like this and like trying to, wanting to really hold on for your dear life nice <laughs> very nice Whoa. oh missed it missed it Oh wow, this is really adding a new element of challenge to this game. But I love it. getting spooky dark. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, Lord. Now, you know, 
the jury's still out on, like a lot of people have asked me since I got this, uh, does it make you sick? Does it make you feel sick? You know, not really, actually. It, it makes everything feel a little more natural and you get a little more of that, that fluid shift in your inner ear that, that kind of helps with the motion sickness. I've desperately wanted to get Stacy in here to try her because she's like, you know, I, she, she gets it really bad. Uh, so... All right, guys, I, you know, there you have it. I'm not going to try to make this video super long. Um, uh, you know, I got to say, Epic Roller Coasters, I am going to be checking this out way more, uh, especially now that I know it works with the yaw chair here. And, and you know, I, I got to say, guys, you're going to see a couple of full reviews coming up here pretty soon. Obviously, I am going to do a full review on the yaw chair here as soon as I can stop having so much damn fun with it. Um, and I'm going to do a full review on the Quest 2. Um, obviously, a little embargo on just, you know, doing a full review on the headset right now. We're kind of doing just gameplay stuff. So, um, anyway, all right. I think that does it. I'll see you guys in the next one. So, thanks very much for stopping by. And if you like what you saw, you know what to do. Hit subscribe, ring the bell. That way you get notified next time I do something cool in virtual reality. But for me, I'm out. See ya.